Today I'm making a very simple calendula salve and I want to show you how I make it. We are working with 8 ounces today, so I need to measure out all of my ingredients so that we get 8 ounces at the end result. So the first step was to infuse my oil with my calendula, which I have done here, and I have let that sit in my cupboard for about 6 weeks. I did a 1 to 2 ratio plant to oil. If you wanted to make it uh, more convenient for you and speed up the process, you can also just put your calendula into the oil and then I would take this whole jar and put it right into my pot here and simmer that on low. For the amount of oil that I have in this container, I would probably let it go for three to four hours. For a smaller jar like down here, I would go one to two hours. Once my oil is infused, I will measure it out, which I've already done here. I have six ounces of oil, and this is going to be my double boiler that I'm making. So I have six ounces of oil, and I'm going to add in two ounces of wax, and that will get me eight ounces of salve. Now that I have my two ounces of wax, I'm just going to pop this on top of my pot of water, and we're going to let that melt down. I do not want to boil my oil. Um, that will basically fry my calendula that's in there. It'll make it stinky and burnt. Um, so I just want to let this go until the beeswax melts, and then I'll take it off right away. Well, my beeswax is melting. I got my tins ready to go. And another important thing to note is that if you are going to be washing your tins, or disinfecting them or anything like that before you put your salve in there, make sure that they are super dry before you put your salve in. Oil mixed with water will equal bacterial growth, which you obviously do not want. So and that's something to keep in mind. Very, very important. This is what it looks like when it's completely melted. And now I'm just going to pour this into my tins and let it sit on the counter until it's completely hardened. And there we go. Finished product, beautiful 8 ounces of calendula salve. Now you can make modifications to this recipe. For example, if you would like it to be a firmer salve, you can add more beeswax. Um, if you want some extra things added to it, you can do vitamin E oil, uh, essential oils, shea butter, or even mix together different infused oils from different herbs. Last thing to note is make sure that you are labeling them properly with the date. And thank you guys for watching.